And first at five, the parents of a little boy found dead in a washing machine were supposed to make their first court appearances today, where horrific details came out about the child's last days alive. Fox 26's Domily Keith live in downtown Houston and tells us the boy's mother was not in court. Domily. Yeah, we're told mental health reasons kept Tiffany Thomas from today's probable cause hearing, but her husband, Jermaine Thomas, stood before the court as details about why he's charged with his son's murder were read. The complainant died at the defendant's home and his death was homicide due to homicidal violence. Here in front of a judge, Jermaine Thomas stood for several minutes as disturbing details about old and new injuries inflicted upon his own seven-year-old son, Troy Kohler, were told to the court. Scars all over his body, which are indicative of non-accidental inflicted trauma. CPS confirms Jermaine and Tiffany Thomas adopted Troy in 2019, and court records show earlier this year, CPS conducted two investigations after school officials reported possible child abuse because Troy had black eyes and bruises. In July, officers were called to the family's home in spring after the parents reported the seven-year-old missing. A deputy found Troy dead in the family's washing machine with a bump on his forehead, blood on his nose and mouth, and multiple bruising, patterned scars all over the body, facial injuries. Text his messages between the parents about their him. own son were also read in court, including one that investigators say Mrs. Thomas wrote, saying Troy told the truth about eating her oatmeal cream pies. Because she, quote, threatened to put him in the stove and turn it on. And detectives say a message from Mr. Thomas about the seven-year-old eating his donut sticks. I need to get the locks. I'm going to end up killing him. You're going to come home and he's going to be hanging from a tree outside, end quote. One more message said to be from Troy's mom. I'm so sick of this boy. Like, I'm really tired of him and don't want him in this house no more, end quote. After months of investigating, Jermaine and Tiffany Thomas were arrested yesterday. Mr. Thomas is charged with capital murder. According to court records, the seven-year-old was likely hit, suffocated, and possibly even drowned. Now, Mrs. Thomas is charged with injury to a child and injury by omission. Her bond has been set at $150,000. Mr. Thomas's bond has been set at $2 million. Reporting live in downtown Houston, I'm Domilee Keith, Fox 26 News.